Hi, this is Carl with Small Biz Thoughts and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. Today we're going to talk about priorities within your IT company. One of the key differences between break fix and managed services is that in break fix everything is interrupt driven. In other words, you wait till something breaks and then you scurry off and fix it. So you can't really plan your day, your week, your month and as you gradually get tired of that you think oh man I want my life to be scheduled I want things to make sense I want everything to be planned as much as possible and not have everything be an emergency so along comes managed services and one of the key things about managed services is that we plan things out it starts with monthly maintenance which means obviously every month you're going to do certain things to maintain your clients systems Daily maintenance means that you have an RMM system, you have a professional tool to apply patches, fixes, and updates, and so lots of things don't break anymore because they're being maintained because you're doing preventive maintenance. Now, things still come up, so how do you deal with all that other stuff that comes up? Well, I recommend that you have a system of priorities. We have two extremely important rules in our managed service business. First, all work is done off of a service request. In other words, we don't do anything. We don't log any time on anything unless there's a ticket in the system. And then, number two, we work everything from highest priority to lowest priority, from oldest to newest. So in order to do that, you have to have priorities. We have a very simple system. We just have priority one, two, three, four. So a priority one is an emergency, a true, true emergency. This is not an urgent thing that the owner of a company really wants. This is a true emergency. This is a failed hard drive, a server down, exchange can't get to the internet, the entire company is losing money. That's a priority one. Human beings do not set priority ones. They happen and you have to respond to them. Which means that the last three priority two, three, and four are really high, medium, and low priority. Those can all be set by human beings, whether it's your clients or you. Everything has a priority. You should have almost no, and in a perfect world, you should have no priority one tickets in your system. If they're there, they should only be there for a very short period of time. So you have to define within your company what constitutes a high, a medium, and a low priority ticket. But once those are established, then the way that you work tickets is from highest to lowest. Take care of the emergencies, then take care of the high priority, then take care of the medium priority, then take care of the low priority. And if you're concerned that you're never going to get to that low priority stuff, here's what's really going on. That means you're so backlogged that some things are not going to get done. And I'll tell you this, I would rather have those things not be high priority tickets. In other words, if you set priorities and you work from highest to lowest, yes, you may not get to some of those low priority tickets for quite a while, but that's much better than not getting to high and medium priority tickets. There are always exceptions to this rule. Two handy exceptions for us, one is if things are scheduled. So let's say a vendor needs to remote into a system Thursday at two o'clock, you schedule that. so. No matter what's going on in terms of priorities, you make that the thing you do Thursday at 2 o'clock. The second one is, if a technician is going on site, we'll frequently have them print out all the tickets for given client and then work as many of those tickets as they can. Since we have a one hour on site minimum, you might as well get as much done as you possibly can. That will also help to clear up a lot of those low priority tickets. I've been working with a priority system for tickets since before I became a professional consultant. So for about 25 years, I have worked this way in my personal life and in my professional life, and all of my employees for all of the companies I've ever owned have worked from highest to lowest priority. You'll be shocked at how much work you can get done when everybody in the company is working on the highest priority stuff they can. And you're also gonna find that when you take care of those high priority tickets, a lot of that low priority stuff takes care of itself. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk wishing you all the luck in your managed service business.